The other day, my friend caught a glimpse of the vision board I had created and set as the background on my laptop. So I thought it'd be fun to show you exactly how I did it and how you can do it as well. This is going to be a very simple tutorial that you can use for either your desktop or phone wallpaper. And it's really beneficial because you will constantly be reminded of the goals that you're working towards. This is going to be a quick and easy tutorial and only requires two tools, Pinterest and Canva. If you are new here, hi, welcome. I'm Louise here on this channel. I talk all about building an online business and going after your biggest goals. So if those are two things you want to do, make sure to hit subscribe down below. All right, let's dive into the training. Fortunately for us, both of these tools are free. So the first one is Pinterest. This is where you're going to find all of the images for your vision board. So once you sign up for a free account, this is what you're going to see. You're just gonna come up here to the search bar and type in keywords related to your dream life and your big goals. So for example, let's say you really want to travel. You could type in travel. And then you're going to see all these inspiring images that you can add to your board. So think about different areas of your life, your business, your personal life, and overall for the year, how you want to feel and type in words that reflect that. So for example, I wanted to feel really positive this year. So I typed in positive and then you'll see all these cute little quotes that you can add to your board. So the board can be a mix of whatever you want. It can be images, it can be quotes, it can be any little graphic that you would like. There's no rules here, this is your board. So when you find an image or quote that you want to use, all you're going to do is click on it, and then you're going to right click on the image and hit save image as. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to continue this process again and again. So when you find an image you like, again, click on it, right click, save image as, and that's it. So take your time with this, have fun. And once you've collected all of the images that you want to use, it's time to go into Canva. One quick thing first though, before you do that, I want you to take a screenshot of your desktop or of your phone background. So this is gonna be different depending on what phone or laptop you have, so just double check the instructions on how to do it. I'm on a MacBook Pro, so I'm gonna hold down Command Shift and the number four, and then I'm going to be able to drag my mouse across my background. And then once I release, that's going to take a screenshot. Okay, so now into Canva. You're going to open up Canva, then click create a design, then start with an image. From here, you're going to grab the screenshot that you just took. And this way, the dimensions for your vision board are going to be perfect. I actually love this Canva feature so much. Okay, great. So once that's done, click edit image. Okay, awesome. Now you're going to click on it and then simply hit the delete key on your keyboard to remove it. From here, you're going to click on uploads and you're going to upload all of the images that you had just saved from Pinterest. So for example, I'm gonna grab these two here, drag them over on top of this section, and that's going to upload them. Okay, great. Then once you have uploaded those to Canva, all you have to do is click on them and it's going to bring them over here to your canvas. From here, you can click on the corners to resize it and then click in the middle to drag it around and place it wherever you would like it to go. So for example, I could do that. Now I'm gonna add the second image. Okay, great, make it a little smaller. So it's really as simple as that. So you can just click on your images, resize and move them all around. Now, there's a few features in Canva that are going to make this easier for you that I wanna draw your attention to. For example, you can click on an image here, and if instead you would like this to actually be behind this photo here, all you need to do is go to position and send it backward. Okay, so I pretty much just use the combination of those few features in order to create my vision board. I also want to mention that you can crop in on the image as well, 
by using these icons here on each side. So if I pull in here, as you can see, it's actually cropping that image. So once you've created your vision board and you're happy with the way that it looks, all you need to do is click download and download this as a PNG. So now the very last thing you need to do is set this as your background. This is also going to be different depending on what computer you have. I'm on a MacBook, so I'm just going to find that file. Then I'm going to right click on it and hit set desktop picture. Awesome. Then as you can see, the vision board is now my background and I can constantly stare at it and be reminded what I'm working towards. This exact same process applies if you want to create a wallpaper for your phone. You're just going to click create a design, start with an image, and this time I have a screenshot of my phone background. So I'm going to grab that, hit open, and then this is going to give me the correct dimensions for a vision board for my phone. So there you have it. That is how you easily create a digital vision board. I would love to see yours. So if you would like to share it, take a photo or screenshot, share it to your Instagram stories and tag me. I'm at Louise Henry so that I can come and see it. I'm excited for you to go after your big goals and be reminded of them every time you look at this board. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you soon with another video.